folks welcome back to another video today we're looking at question one to some but this question will be solved in python so let's get started um the way we'll be approaching this problem is by using a hash map so let's um, initialize that hash map uh, and you need to iterate through all of the numbers that are given to us in the nums list so let's get the length so um that's a keyword i think is it let's just call it n n would be equal to uh, length of nums okay i think this is let's call it nums nums map okay awesome so let's iterate through all of the numbers in the given array so for int i in range of nums um let's get we already have something called target so let's call it required required target so basically what we're doing is that for the previous number that we have seen does that exist already like does a complementary exist already in the map um so what that looks like is target minus numbers of i and then you're checking if uh required target in nums map then we know that both the numbers exist so basically what we're doing is that hey the, the target that we need we already know that subtract the sum that we're looking at already so if that particular number exists in the map that means we've found a pair so you would have to just return that. So you would return nums, actually you'd return just i, and you would return uh, nums map of required target. Yeah, so basically since the mapping is uh, the, the value and then the index, so if, it doesn't return that means we actually need to add that to the map so it would be nums of nums map of required actually nums of i so basically you're storing the current values that you're seeing so the value and that is mapped to the index itself and in the end if nothing uh, is found you just return an empty array awesome so let's try compiling this of course i in the range of nums is that not the in range of sorry n n okay let's try that again okay so the first few test cases are okay everything else is okay as well awesome so let's talk about this based on time complexity the time complexity is of n since we are iterating through all of the elements in the list the space complexity is of n as well since we are using a map to store all of the elements that we have seen Awesome. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I really appreciate that. I definitely keeps me motivated to make more videos. Thanks so much. And I'll see you folks in the next video. Peace.